Welcome to round five, playing against Joe Cool Beta Fan, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Um, we won the roll, chose to draw, have to mulligan this hand. Really strong hand, but not guaranteed to hit land drop, so I'm gonna mull. Uh, this hand, do we actually have the swamp and the complete disregard, so if we draw, um, planes, I guess we have a capable one. Griffin, we can put that on bottom. Island, okay, that's probably one of the worst draw steps possible. He has Evolving Wilds, which is great. Island, another awful draw. Valkant Invoker, okay, that's a great card. Ooh, we have a choice now. Do we complete disregard it, or do we play the bridge, which is such a tease? I think we play the bridge. I don't care about taking two this turn. I just need to be able to play uh, white cards before they're obsolete. Fence Sentinel, well, now they are obsolete, but we drew planes, which is like... <laughs> The worst best possible draw. It lets us play both of our guys, but we really don't want to hit lands at all. Okay, he core castigator a guy, we attack two three. Yeah, now we hit another land. We're just like so dead here. Here we definitely trade two twos. And complete disregard this guy. So we're at least not taking any damage and we have a million land in play and nothing in hand, but the board is at least stable. And they have Tar Snare Killer Guy. Okay, that's fine. If they have a big creature, they do 4-3. We're probably dead if we don't kill it right away. Yeah, we drew a 3-1. No attacks, okay. Alright. Just keep drawing land. Taking one per turn from Vent Sentinel. Two four flyer, okay. Oh, just keep drawing land. Where's our Sears lantern? Induced despair, revealing. I think it was like tuk tuk grunts or something. It was a five mana three three haste. Royal mage's trick. Yeah, tuk tuk grunts. I could technically just concede here. Um, but I figured, no, I could go, like, Royal Mage's Trick into something, yeah, and Touch of the Void into, like, I don't know, the Banisher, yeah, I, see, I'm climbing back into this, Courier Griffin, Touch of the Void, you're 4-3, I'm still alive, see, Block your 2, 4. Yeah, see? If I just didn't draw infinite lands. He's drawn 7, I've drawn 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so I've played 5 less, five less spells. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Definitely choosing draw. And gosh, they're just the moto gods are punishing me today. The mana's good. I don't know what I do with this. Do I keep it? No, I'm all. Uh, yeah, I guess I keep this one. It's like just as bad. Pilgrim's Eye. I think I keep that on top. Well, made his trick. Not a bad draw, but don't need it early. Uh, I can heat ray this guy right now, which allows me to play Pilgrim's Eye, which is kind of cool. All right, we, d we don't need any more lands. I have literally all the lands I could ever want. I just need to draw my threats. And he's ramping, so... Yeah, I'm just drawing more lands, so... This game is looking... Awful. But somehow he has no play with five mana. And I get to play a three one first strike attacker. That immediately dies, which again I think I'm perfectly happy with because he already had quicksand. Flame Slash could kill like a bomb flyer. 
like my wave wing elemental. Took to grunts, okay, I guess. Now's as good as time as any to gain five life and draw a card. Deprive, okay. So I get to, jeez, I just keep drawing lands. So unreal. Touch of the void, kill this guy, hit for one, so. At least I have deprive open. At least he played rest for the weary, which does nothing. Just gain eight life. Just basically a mulligan. There we go. 3-3. Three, three. Stop attacking me. Hold open to prive. He plays Nimbus Wings. Now, I let that resolve because I figure... I already used Touch of the Void. I figure any of my other removal spells. Complete Disregard. Um, Iona's Judgment or Sheer Drop are all going to kill it. No matter what. So I'm bound to get a 2 for 1. And now... I'm attacking for four, he's attacking for three. I'm dead in five turns. He's dead in five and a half, six turns. So I'm going to have a bunch of draw steps. And so I think it's worth saving the deprive. Guard duty. Now that's a card I think that I will deprive. Because I need to be able to race him like I just mentioned. So, deprive it is. Get back my sandstone bridge so I can get value from it. And I drew sheer drop, which is the best possible. So, yeah. I get to attack him. Yeah, that was like the best possible draw step. So I get to attack him for eight. And kill this guy in two for one. Probably can't lose from here. So they have quicksand and two tar snare. Okay. So got a nice little two for one there. Down to six. Play Sears Lantern. Now I just get to scry like cray cray. Prophetic Prism. I think I just put it on bottom. It's, I have all my mana. And I don't need to spend two mana for no reason. Let's just dig deeper. Medic. Uh, medic I think I can put on bottom here. I can... I think a lot of people are scared to put spells on bottom here, but meta gets blanked very, very easily. I guess it's fine if it gets blanked, because then I can at least gain one a turn off of it, but I know I have creatures in my deck that are better. So, Fortified Rampart, I believe I sideboarded this one in. I think it's good against him. He has a lot of 3 and 4 power attackers, and a lot of removal spells, but not a lot of tricks. Induce Despair, revealing... Tick tick grunts again. Or or I guess he revealed Eclipse I look out. Something's wrong with the reveal on it. Induce despair. It wasn't showing up. Eclipse I look out. Bone splinters. Kill my 3 3. Okay. So he's at 2. Put the island on bottom. Draw the banisher. Yeah, just play it. They have Sun Fury. Okay. Island, put that on bottom. Griffin. Okay. And then they're dead. So, pretty crazy game. Um, they drew a lot of removal spells and not a lot of creatures. They drew tons of removal. Um, and we just kind of drew a lot of lands. Alright, so game three. Uh, yeah, this hand looks great. We have removal. And, yeah. Prism to fix our mana. Just need to hit lands. Ooh, they have a 3-1. That's a little dangerous. Uh, Touch of the Void is really good. We just need to hit a land, 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 land. We do. Okay. So now we're going to play Complete Disregard or Touch of the Void. Which one would you play? Looks like I'm adding red for Touch of the Void. Mainly because Complete Disregard can kill four toughness creatures. The problem is, is I have seen him play a 4-3. If he plays a 4-3, that's going to be a little annoying here. Ooh, 4-2. Basically just the same. So now I get punished for holding Complete Disregard in hand, and now I'm going to have to take four damage. 
misplay by me. Tick tick grunts. Uh, that's annoying. I could deprive, but I think my play here is going to be have him attack. I could roam a district, but I think I'm just going to complete disregard the 3 3. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's a bad play. I think I should have complete disregarded the 3 3, and then this turn I can play Sirach Banisher and bounce the 4 2. Yeah, that's a really bad play. Because now I'm in a really weird spot. And this spot is way more difficult. Um, yeah, this, this is that was awful. Ugh. I only saved two dam uh, three damage anyway. Because now if I play the Banisher and I bounce the Tuk Tuk Runs, he replays it and attacks me anyway. And it's no tempo loss for him. And if I play the and I bounce this cutthroat, he replays it and then and then it's got a four four and then I can't even block it. Um and if I play the battle herd and he plays removal, then I can't possibly win. I have to play the banisher this turn. Yeah. This is really bad. I should have just completely disregarded the three three. So now he's just gonna play it again anyway, and I'm basically forced to trade. And I'm forced to take four damage. Um but I actually, I trade with the 4-2 because now I make my play of complete disregarding. I just take the 3 damage right here. Uh, so I get to play Pilgrim's Eye, search for, I guess, Mountain. Just in case I draw any of the red cards and my Prophetic Prism dies, then I'll at least have the red for it since complete disregard is typically one of my only black spells in my deck. I might have sided in one more. Okay, so here, in case he has removal, I want him to use it on these bad flyers instead of battle herda. Looks like he has silk spider net, but no creatures, and so maybe some removal. So I'll just bash him. Looks like he's not willing to use removal on those guys. Wants me to play something better. Career Griffin. Will oblige. Core Cartographer. Okay, I think I'm willing to uh, deprive that, mainly because uh, I don't want to use Iona's Judgment on it, and let's say he has another creature, and then he puts Silk Spider Net on it, then I just Iona's Judge it that. Okay, he's got Dutiful Return, that's pretty good. Me drawing a Defender is not the best, so I can finally play out this Battle Herda. And just bash with everything, and I got him on a decent clock. Hookmaster. That's annoying. So now I just, I'm gonna have to own his judgment whichever one he plays Silk Spider Net onto. But he kind of makes just a weird play. Like, Bone Splitters is just not good in his deck. He's having the two for one himself. But I guess he can't block the Flyers anyway. But like, Let's, let's assume I don't have removal in hand. The only reasonable play there is to play creature, put Silk Spider Net equipped to it, and say go. And hopefully I can't attack at that point. Doing anything else just makes him so dead. So I just get to tip for four for free. I get to play this big 2-6 wall. He can't attack into it, and I have lethal in the air, so... Maybe he just didn't have any relevant draws anyway, but... Closer games, a lot more tension that these games had. As you saw, a little bit more mana problems, a little bit more mulligans, a little bit more flooding, um, and a little bit of uh, questionable plays by me. Now, second, giving it a second look through these games, I definitely would have made a couple of different decisions at a few points there. So... Not too bad though. Ended up week one ending at four and one. And it's actually still the middle of week one. So I can still play more matches and I'll post some replays if any more matches uh, show up. So it's three points for a win, one for a loss. So we ended up with 12 plus one at 13. Currently at the top of the standings, but only a couple other people have. Uh, completed five matches. I assume somebody will go 5-0. Uh, 
Um, I guess it's possible that someone does not go 5-0 uh, because people like me and other people that are done with their five matches, they can still be eligible to play. And like, let's say now I just keep playing, but I go undefeated and I play against a bunch of people. Then I'm just adding more losses into the tournament without adding more wins. Um, that'll probably end up happening. I my deck is apparently pretty good. I think I thought it was incredibly mediocre, but I think I underestimated how janky this format is and how bad these sealed sealed pools can actually be. Um, and it turns out. You know, I think I built my pool pretty well, and I have a few good sideboard options. I have good mana fixing, good removal spells, and good flyers and good evasive threats. So yeah, as long as I don't face against a you know two color draft deck aggro, I probably have a normal normal shot at playing uh, close games against people, but. Uh, Really hoping to open uh, some Scion Makers, or maybe not Scion, Spawn Makers. I'm going to get, I think I'm just going to alternate between Battle for Zendikar and Rise of Eldrazi and try to hit Evolving Wilds, um, Prophetic Prisms, you know, for fixing, and then try to hit, um, you know, Vendetta, Flame Slash, Mnemonic Wall for my current deck, or I could hit like Kozilek's Predator, Emrakul's Hatcher, um, Nest Invader, cards like that, some green cards. Wouldn't be bad, I wouldn't mind playing green. If it would allow me to play Shared Discovery, I think Shared Discovery would be a really cool card to try to play too. So yeah, so stay tuned, I might have some more unofficial matches on my end since I'm now 4-1 and one and kind of locked into my record, but if there's any in other interesting matches, I'll definitely post them since they will count for my opponents. Okay?